Donyi Polo, also Donyi Poloism, is the designation given to the indigenous religions of animistic and shamanic type of the Tani and other Tibeto-Burman peoples of Arunachal Pradesh in northeastern India. The name Donyi Polo means Sun Moon and was chosen for the religion in the process of its revitalization and institutionalization started in the 1970s in response to inroads made by Christianity and the possibility of absorption into Hinduism the religion has developed a congregational system hymns to be sung composed in the Tani ritual language of shamans a formalized philosophy theology and iconography of the gods and temples the pioneer of the revival was Talam Rukbo. Donyi Polo is related to the Hempu Mukrang religion of the Kabi and the Nyezino of the Russo. Theology and cosmology Sedi and Kiyum In the Donyi Polo belief, the fountain god that begets the universe god or the godhead is referred to as Sedi by the Minyong and Padam, Jimmy by the Gallo. All things and beings are parts of the body of Sedi. In creation, the hair of Sedi becomes the plants of the earth, his tears become rain and water, his bones become rocks and stones, and his two eyes become Donyi the sun and Polo the moon. Sedi, after creation, is a deus otiosis but continues to observe creation through his eyes, his double aspect veiling unveiling revealing himself. In Gallo beliefs, Jimmy manifests as mellow sky and Sidi earth, out of the interaction of which all things and beings are born, including Donyi and Polo. There are other myths explaining the meaning of the duality Donyi and Polo. According to Talam Rukbo's theology, all celestial bodies, including Earth, all things, originate from one source, Kiyum, nothingness or the vacuum. Donyi Polo is the polar force that generates all stars, the physical sun and moon, respectively, Bamong and Bu near the Earth and humanity, are bodily manifestations of the universal unseen power Donyi Polo, with Bamong carrying out the centralizing power of Donyi, and Bu the polo power of life giving. Donyi and Polo Donyi sun and Polo moon, which are, respectively, female and male in the Tibeto-Burman tradition, called Ain Donyi mother sun, and Abo Polo father moon, constitute a notion similar to the yin and yang of Chinese culture. It is the analogy through which the divinity Sedi can be described, representing the way in which the divine principle manifests itself, that is, eternally veiling, unveiling and then revealing himself in nature, providing harmony and balance to the universe, for example in the alternation of light and darkness, heat and cool, or unity analogically, the sun of the daily sky and multiplicity analogically, the stars of the night sky, the practical expression of the faith in Donyi Polo can be found in the daily life and actions of people, they call themselves, Donyi O, Polo O M E, meaning, children of the sun and the moon. When a believer is distressed he invokes, Donyi Polo. If a man is falsely accused of lying he invokes, Donyi E, O sun. All these are expressions of faith in Donyi Polo upholding providently the world, rewarding the righteous and punishing wrongdoers. The divine pair is revered as the highest holy figure governing fate. Donyi Polo is also used in the sense of truth in sacral speech. Donyi Polo is an epitome for wisdom, enlightenment, right conscience, truthfulness, and selflessness. Aware people are called Donyi Polo Ome, which means children of truth, 
elders are regarded as Doni Polo Abu, representatives of the truth. <laughs> Gods The followers of Donyi Poloism worship a variety of gods and goddesses that enliven nature. These gods are believed to partake in the universal balance of Donyi and Polo, and to be multiple manifestations or identities of Sedi Donyi Polo, each with specific functions and roles. It is believed that they take care of the earth and humanity. The main deities in Donyi Polo are Donyi and Polo, Kain Nain, Doying Boat, Pedong Nain, and Guman Soyan. <laughs> Abatani Tani speaking peoples Apatani, Gallo, Nishi, Tagan, Na, Mishing, Adi Loba share a myth telling of their descendants from the progenitor Abatani. Other Tibeto Burman peoples of Arunachal Pradesh who share the Donyi Polo faith don't subscribe to the descendants from Abatani. Abatani is thought to represent the evolution of the human being from the source Donyi, Sedi, the eye of the universe, as important to man as the eye of the body. The divinity has projected man, showing him the right way to go. Topic. Conscience and ethics Donyi Poloists describe the Donyi Polo nature of the universe as the eyes of human conscience. Happiness is given through right action, and right action is that which follows the order of nature. Donyi Polo, Oshang Erring, a philosopher of the religion, has written that as the two objects in the sky and Bu focus light to enable us to see what is what, Donyi Polo makes us aware of what is wrong and right. Right conscience naturally prevails. When a person does wrong things acts against the natural order and tries to hide it, or masks it as good, then the force of conscience Donyi Polo imposes a psychological pressure, and the wrongdoer loses happiness. Right conscience naturally guides man. According to the traditional belief, love, compassion, equality, and selflessness are naturally ordained by Donyi Polo, they are inscribed in nature. The ethical dimension of Donyi Polo also means purity, beauty, simplicity, and frankness. Topic: <laughs> Institution. On the 28th of August 1968, a meeting of Adi intellectuals was held in Along, West Xi'an to discuss countermeasures to be taken against the gradual erosion of indigenous identity and traditions attributed to India's policy of integration of Arunachal Pradesh, and particularly the rapid, aggressive and coercive proselytizing of Christianity in the area since the 1950s which has caused an enduring crisis in the cultural mosaic of the northeastern state. The meeting's aim was also that of uniting the Tibeto-Burman folks under a collective identity and values for a good life. Talim Rukbo emerged as the father of Donyi Poloism, a term that was coined for the institutionalization of the Tibeto-Burman folk religion. According to Rukbo, the main reason of the easy erosion of the traditional culture was that it lacked a written literature. So, with the aim of recovering the endangered rituals, prayers and hymns, within 1986 three major cultural organizations were founded, the Tani Jagriti Foundation, the Donyi Polo Youth Federation and the Donyi Polo Yelim Kabang. Rukbo expressed the need for institutionalization of the traditional faith in these terms. 
Tradition means the way of living of a society practicing its socio-religious culture, economic life, the way of preserving history, literature and all other norms of social life inherited from time immemorial which may be called social character and identity. Many Adi and Tani intellectuals reflected Rukbo's ideas, and these gradually spread across the tribes and even beyond the Tani people. 31 December, the day of establishment of the Donyi Polo Yelam Kabang in 1986, has been made the Donyi Polo Day, celebrated each year. Since then, Templar areas have been consecrated, religious literature and prayer hymns have been collected and published. To meet the growing number of adherents in the revival, the Donyi Polo Yelam Kabang established orientation courses which take place twice a year—and trained groups of youth to send back with books and icons to their home village, to encourage people to construct temples and conduct prayers. During the last two decades the spiritual revival has spread all over Arunachal Pradesh. Supporters of the revival have coined the slogan, Loss of culture is loss of identity, which has become very popular. The indirect implication is that those who convert to Christianity lose their culture and hence their identity. Ganging A ganging is a general name for a prayer place of the Donyi Poloist faith, and especially in the Adi areas. The ganging as a sacred enclosure is a concept popularized by the Donyi Polo Yelam Kabang since 1996. According to Talam Rukbo, the word ganging is derived from ganging siring, the concept of a land or holy tree that mediates between the spiritual and the natural worlds, and from which anything, living or non living, comes into existence. Ganging congregants have to follow certain rules, for example, male members must sit on the left in rows, and female members on the right, cross-legged. Within the prayer place, there should not be any noise during prayer except the sound of the hymns. Prayers are organized in the prayer place on Sundays, and all of the ganging branches established in each of the villages under the Xiang district are centrally regulated by the Donyi Polo Yelam Kabang. Through the prayer place, codified rituals and practices, and iconographies of the gods and goddesses have been introduced. Ethnic variations In Gallo areas, the prayer place and community halls have come up under the patronage of the Donyi Polo Welfare Association and they are being built since the 2000s. Priests conduct prayers in the prayer place on Sundays. In Apatani areas, the religion is called Danyi Pilo and prayer place are called Mida Nello. Purified place". The first of which was built in 2004 songs and prayers are collected in a prayer book called Liambope. Donyi Poloist prayer place in Nishi areas are called Nyeda Namlo pure place", and also among them the movement has been started only in the early 2000s. More recently, the success of Donyi Polo has crossed the Tani cultural borders inspiring the rise of Rangfreyism among the Tangsa, and of Intaeism among the Mishmi, respectively in Changling and Dabang Valley. See also Tribal religions in India Bathorism Sanamahism Sanism Notes <laughs>